Hello, Nikki from Motor For You. Today we have a BMW 1 Series. This is an M Sport finished in black sapphire metallic. This car has got a M Sport pack on it as well as a tech pack too. It has also had one owner from you and has a full service history. On this car, we have park distance to the front, which we can see the sensors just along there. We also get 19 inch M Sport alloys on this car. And we can also see the M Performance brake discs, but brake pads just behind. If we then start to make our way around the car, past the B pillar, we have privacy glass. And as we come around to the back, you can see we have rear park distance on this car. We then open up the boot. Once inside the car, you can see that we have electric windows all around with your window lock button just below. We also have electric folding mirrors on this car. The locking system is just next to the door handle. And just above that, we can see by the speaker that this car comes with Harman and Carden. To the right hand side of the steering wheel is where the headlights are located on this car. We have the option of automatic headlights, which you can see is currently selected, but you can also choose whether to just have your side lights on or headlights on. We have a multifunctional steering wheel on this car with the M Sport badge just at the bottom. On the left hand side is the cruise control where we have a limiter. And then on the right hand side, we have your volume, changing and tracks or stations, telephone and voice control. We then have the flappy paddles. And just behind that, we have the option of automatic wipers. If we then move to the center console, we have an armrest just here where we can open it up. And there is a storage compartment where we have a USB-C fast charger. We then have the touchpad and the gear selector just here, as well as your option of different driving modes. We have two cup holders just here, which is where I currently have the key. As this car has got keyless start, we do have a USB point just behind there, as well as another um, storage cubby just there. We then have your volume bu button just here, as well as your selection of stations. And then just up from that, we have the climate control. On this car, we do also have the option of heated seats for the front passenger and the driver. They have three different heat options of high, medium, and low. And uh, as you adjust it through here, you will then see it come up on the small screen just there. As you can see on the screen now that we get a visual representation of the front and rear park distance of the car. If we then go to the home page, which we can do through the dials here, we have three different home pages, which we can see across here. But then we can also just view things through here. So here we have the media, we have radio, Bluetooth audio and screen mirroring. The, you can access the Bluetooth audio when you have your phone connected. We then also have the communications app. So here you can view things such as your contacts. And then also when you are connected to this, it then means that you can make and receive calls through the car. We then with this car do get sat nav. So this is where you would input your destination. And then this is what the map looks like. We do also have uh, the option of traffic information, a petrol station map. We can also choose to set up the map. And then we also have the settings for the map just below there as well. If we then go back to the home page, we then have the car settings. So here we have the driving information. So we have your journey data. We also have the option of sports displays. And then we have the energy flow of the car as well. So as you can see here, the engine is running. We then can check the vehicle status of the tire pressure monitor, engine oil level, service requirements, and then your check control messages will include things such as your range. We then have settings. So here we have at the top is just your box standard settings and we can then go along to the driving mode. So here you can select the driving mode. You don't just have to do it through the buttons down here. But as you can see, if you put it into sport, it will put your steering engine and your transmission into sport. And it's same for Eco Pro, it will then put everything into Eco. We then have your exterior lights as well as the driver assistant. So here we have your front collision warning and your lane departure warning. We also have speed assist, so we can uh, set speed limits for the car, as well as if you exceed the speed limit. We then have the parking and maneuvering, which is your automatic PVC activation. And then we also have feedback through the steering wheel. So when the intelligent safety systems start to kick in, you will then feel a vibration through the steering wheel just there. We then have the display. So here you can see we have your driving mode view, your control space and your instrument cluster. We can also change the doors and the locks. 
We also have the interior lighting. So in this car, we do get ambient lighting. We can change the color. We have bronze, orange, white, blue, green, and lilac to choose from. And then we also can adjust the climate comfort so we can choose the air quality, whether it's air recirculated, fresh air, or whether it automatically does it for you. And then we can also do the key button assignments. As you can see, you can set it to unlock just the driver's door or all of the doors. On this car, we can also set driver profile. So it currently has a guest profile on there, but if you uh, select there, you will then be able to create your own profile, which is also quite handy when you have different people driving the car. So that means you can select that profile and then your music will come on and everything will be set to you. And then finally, we have the apps part of the screen. So here we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If we then have a look at the seats, here we have the driver's side seat. We can then come round to the back. We have three seats in the back with Isofix along the bottom and we have the red interior, red leather interior throughout. We also have two charging points just down there for the rear passengers. If you have any questions or queries on this car, please contact us at motor for You. Alternatively, you can give us a call on 01580 879 666.